How does virtualization affect gaming performance? Hello and welcome, fellow gamers and tech enthusiasts. Today, we are diving into an exciting topic, virtualization and how it impacts gaming performance. You might be wondering, how does running games on a virtual machine compare to running them directly on your hardware? Well, let's find out. What is virtualization? Before we jump into the impact on gaming, let's quickly understand what virtualization is. In simple terms, it's a technology that allows you to create multiple simulated environments or dedicated resources from a single, physical hardware system. These simulated environments are called virtual machines, VMs, each functioning like a separate physical computer. How does virtualization affect gaming performance? Now, let's move on to the meat of the matter. So, how does virtualization affect gaming performance? Firstly, the primary disadvantage is that virtualization adds an extra layer of software between your game and the hardware. This layer, called a hypervisor, manages the VMs and the allocation of resources. Because of this extra layer, your game might not be able to utilize the full potential of your hardware, leading to decreased performance. Secondly, not all hardware resources are fully available or perfectly emulated in a VM. For example, GPU pass-through, where a physical GPU is dedicated to a VM, can be tricky to set up and might not work as efficiently as in a non-virtualized environment. Lastly, input lag could be higher in a virtualized environment. Since the data from your input devices, like mouse and keyboard, needs to pass through the hypervisor, it might slightly increase the response time, which could be crucial for fast-paced competitive games. Can virtualization be good for gaming? Despite the potential drawbacks, there are scenarios where virtualization might be beneficial or even necessary for gaming. For instance, Legacy games that might not run on modern systems could potentially run in a VM configured to mimic an older system. Additionally, virtualization allows for flexibility and convenience, especially for developers testing games across different operating systems and software configurations. They can quickly spin up VMs with different specifications without needing separate physical machines for each. To sum it up, while virtualization brings a lot of advantages in various use cases, it may not be the ideal solution for hardcore gaming due to the potential performance hit and issues like GPU pass-through and input lag. However, for older games, testing purposes, or in situations where gaming is not the primary purpose of the system, virtualization can indeed be a viable solution. Hope this video helps you in understanding the relationship between virtualization and gaming performance. Stay tuned for more insights into the gaming world.